I have three or four rules that are always in my head. I, I always think of first before I start at any project. And, and all of them have to work in sync. Um, if they don't, then I, I know the project, the film can't go forward. It doesn't matter how much I love it or care for it and stuff. And by the way, the love and caring for a, a story drives everything. And it can, it can, it can even ex mess up your decision-making process because you become so passionate about a story that it has to be told that you, you then put some of the other things aside and it can become problematic, but you find a way to get it done. At least that's what we always do. So the rules are always for me is who's going to care about it? Who's going to care about the film? Who's it going to help? Is it going to help in anybody in any way or form? Where is it going to be seen? Is it online? Is it a film festival? Is it on television? Who's going to pay for it? And those four all have to work. They have to work together at some point in the, in the process. Now, some of them you may put aside and I'll worry about the, who's it going to help later? I know the story is going to resonate with people and so on, but they all have to really at some point work. And um, we've had very few projects that we've started in the last, you know, 16 years or so that we haven't gone ahead and completed. Very, very few because I really think through that process and I have to, you have to find in public television or in documentary filmmaking, you've got to find individuals that are passionate about what you're doing, that care about what you're doing. You have to find individuals that are willing to share their story. And what is it there? What about their story that touches you as a person? Cause you're a storyteller. You're not just a producer, you're a storyteller. And you have to be able to develop relationships with your characters and individuals you're working with that they trust in you that you're gonna protect their story and that they're the most important one. So we don't, nothing we do is newsy, not that newsy is bad, but it's not news in the sense that I got you kind of thing. I'm very careful and very protective of everybody that we work with uh, in all ways. It's just, you know, it's just something that's really important to me that they, they at the end walk away saying, oh my God, it was such a great experience, thank you. And then you gotta find somebody to help support it, whether it's foundations or companies or individuals that it resonates with them in some way that helps support the, the, the process. Now, almost on all of our projects and documentary film owners, they tell you this, we'll go down the path of production ahead of time. And a lot of those pieces I know in my mind will fall in place through experience, but it's, uh, it can be, can be scary at times. You can get pretty far into a project and spend thousands of dollars in hopes that you're going to be able to bring it to somebody's attention that, uh, they're going to want to help support it.